Well, here's a question that's got uh, a lot of my higher students animated this evening. This is from this morning's higher level paper. This is a, a screen uh, shot taken from the Daily Record. Um, the Daily Record is currently outraged, uh, and so are a lot of students, because of the complexity of this question, which is an optimization question. I'm not going to read the question to you, uh, but I'm going to show you how to answer it. Now, all of these optimization questions start the same way. They start with establishing a relationship. Okay? And we can establish this relationship by, first of all, calculating the volume of the cuboid. And that's going to be uh, 3x multiplied by 3x, which is the area of the end, multiplied by the height. That's going to equal 9x squared h. But we've got this cutout. And the volume of the cutout is going to be x times x h squared h. So the volume of this shape, this chocolate box, okay, is the volume of the cuboid minus the volume of the knockout. So that would be 9x squared h subtract otherwise known as 8x squared h. Okay. And that volume is given to us. It's 2,000. 2,000 equals 8x squared h. Okay. Now, next thing they want us to calculate, okay, they need us to calculate is the surface area. And this is quite elaborate. There's a lot to it, but it's okay as long as we break it up into bits. So we've got four surfaces around the outside of this box. So we've got four multiplied by 3x h. Okay, that equals 12x h. And then I've got the uh, area of the top, which is going to be uh, 3x x. But then I need to subtract an x times x. So I'm going to stick that in brackets. Subtract x times x. OK. And I've got two of those. I've got the top and the bottom. Times that by two. So that's going to equal 9x squared minus squared times by two for the top and the bottom. So that's 8x squared times Two, which is 16x squared. So I've got 12xh all there on the outside, 16x squared for the top and the bottom, but I've also got the surface, these inner faces in here. So I've got four lots of four times xh. Okay, so in total, just a little line here to divide it up because I haven't got a lot of space here. In total, I've got 12xh plus. 4xh, which is 16xh plus 16x squared, and that's the area. Okay, and for those students of mine who've, who've had me deliver this to them, um, I can, from this first uh, relationship up here to do with volume, I can write well, h equals okay, 2000 divided by 8 squared. Then I can substitute that value thing for h in here. So a would equal, well, let's write it the same way around as they've got it, 16x squared. That's the first term there. Yeah, excellent. Uh, plus well, 16x, rather than writing h, I can write times by 2,000 over x squared, and then 16 will cancel with the 8 to give me 2 on top. That x there will cancel with one of the x's underneath to give me, ultimately, and I'll have to write it over here, a equals 16x squared plus, well, 2 times 2,000 is 4,000 over x. And there we are. We've uh, Determine that relationship. We've shown that for three marks. And you think, oh, that's a lot of work for three marks. 
Well, it is, but I'm talking about it as well. Um, so let's clear that up. Now we've just shown that. And we'll have a look at part B. Now remember, you can always skip on to part B if you can't manage to show that because they've given it to us. So minimize the cost of production. Service area A of the box should be as small as possible. Not always with optimization. What you need to do is differentiate. So the A by the X is the thing we want. However, that's not quite in differentiable form because we need, let's just clear that off, we need uh, A to equal 16X squared plus 4,000. Well, that's X to the minus one, to use index notation, that's what we need. So DA by DX is gonna equal, I'll bring down the two, so that's 32X minus, four, one, two, three, X to the minus two. Okay, so that's now differentiated. And for the minimum, well, it's gonna be a turning point from the gradient equals zero. 32x. And, and to save my tired brain at the end of a long day, I'm going to write that back as a fraction over x squared. Let's rearrange this. So let's uh, add 4,000 over x squared to both sides. So 4,000 over x squared equals 32x. Multiply both sides by x squared. So 4,000. Uh, uh, equals 32x cubed. I was about to do two steps at the same time there. 4,000 divided by 32, if I divide both sides by 32, equals x cubed. And so x is going to equal the cube root of 4,000 over 32. Okay, now that should equal think my notes over here. Uh, it's a cube root of 125, so x equals 5. Of course, this is on paper too. It's a calculator paper, and um, you can tap that straight in. And now, to find the minimum value of a, well, having found x, I need to substitute that back into this original relationship here. So shove the numbers in, and I end up with a equals uh, 1 to 0, 0 centimeters squared because it's an uh, area and that very quickly is uh, uh, how you can answer that question any thoughts or comments i've just rattled that off as i've just returned home then um, uh, please add some comments to uh, uh, below this video um, uh, and here's the shameless plug if you're stuck on any uh, maths or physics, then uh, please uh, come and visit your maths tutor or info. Uh, this is our online classroom. Uh, I work uh, with students across Scotland uh, on National 5 and um, uh, below, um, uh, and with higher maths in the main, but also physics. For more information about the services that, uh, that I can provide, then please do visit me at yourmathstutor.info and uh, drop me a line, send me an email. Um, thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye. Uh,